Canada is reuniting loved ones through new immigration measures. New measures also address labor shortages in Canada. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel Worldwide Immigration News. We hope you're doing great. In today's episode, we talk about the Honorable Sean Fraser, Minister of Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada, joined by the Honorable Hedy Fry, Member of Parliament for Vancouver Centre, announced new measures to strengthen family reunification. To get all the information, pay attention and watch the video through to the end. Please hit like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell for upcoming videos. Without further delay, let's get into the topic. Families are meant to be together, especially during life's big moments like moving to a new country. That is why Canada is working to help families reunite more quickly and easily, and support themselves once in Canada. The Honorable Sean Fraser, Minister of Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada, joined by the Honorable Hedy Fry, Member of Parliament for Vancouver Centre, announced new measures to strengthen family reunification, including Faster Temporary Resident Visa, TRV, Processing Times for Spousal Applicants New and dedicated processing tools for spousal TRV applicants. New open work permit for spousal and family class applicants. Open work permit extensions for open work permit holders expiring between August 1st and the end of 2023. Minister Fraser announced faster temporary resident visa, TRV, processing and more considerate application measures, so that families can be together sooner while they wait for their permanent residence to be finalized. Going forward, most of these applications will be processed within 30 days, and applicants will benefit from processing measures specific to their circumstances as spouses and dependents. Many applications have already been processed using these new tools. Within this cohort of applicants, the approval rates are 93%. Once in Canada, newcomers often seek jobs to support themselves and their families. That is why Canada has also made open work permits available for spousal applicants and their dependent children who reside with their sponsor in Canada and have temporary resident status. Spouses, partners, and dependents are now able to apply for and receive an open work permit as soon as they submit a complete permanent residence application under the spouse or common law partner in Canada class, SPCLC, or other family class programs. Finally, Minister Fraser announced that spousal applicants, along with other open work permit holders, whose open work permits expire between August 1 and the end of 2023, will be able to extend their work permits for an additional 18 months. A similar option was recently offered to many with expiring post-graduation work permits. Immigration will continue to play a vital role in addressing Canada's labor shortages, and together, these initiatives deliver on the minister's mandate letter commitment to strengthen family reunification by facilitating temporary resident status to spouses, partners and dependent children waiting for permanent residence. That's all for today. Thanks for watching the entire video. Hopefully the information is useful to you. See you later in the next episodes. Till then take care.